Hello. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a different person today. And it's me. It's him. But Max who is Bally. he? Oh, oh, Max. Oh. Oh, we are so in sync. We should start like a podcast. I know what? Week. That's a really good idea. I have brought Max on today because his predecessor is a virgin. Um, and this is Love Island. Who's my predecessor? Uh, Alex. Oh. We're just going to judge the Love Island cast. Yes. That seems like a healthy thing to do. I'm not good at selling TVs. I can sell a TV when it's not even on. Oh, shut the f*** up. Is that not how they normally get sold, though? Yeah, I would trust that the TV works if yeah. someone was trying to sell it to me. Arguably, if they had to prove that the TV turned on, I would then be more worried about the TV that I'm purchasing. You can turn it on, by the way, but oh, all right, I, I didn't question that, but now yeah. I'm feeling slightly worried. I am Harris, 21 years old. I'm a TV salesman from Doncaster. What makes me good as a TV salesman is the chat. <laughs> <laughs> is this all about TV? Is this, is this a TV ad? Is he getting paid to talk about TVs? The smile, the energy, and the confidence as well. <laughs> I hated that. That is what I look for in a, in a TV, a smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a... <laughs> oh. Do your best at Love Island giggle. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh my God. I've never actually took a girl home. Quite interesting to exclusively shag people outdoors. What was the, what did he say? He said he's never taken a girl home. <laughs> oh, why did I just, <laughs> why did I just squeak? So my type on paper should have to be tanned. Brunette, dark features, good teeth, likes the gym. So you know when I'm coming to train that she can come with me. We can have a good session. Get sweaty. <laughs> oh, dirty bastard. That's oh, a really unique like that. type, that, isn't it? Not many people want somebody that's physically fit, tanned, has good teeth, and is attractive. You can't have to not be any of them on Love Island. No. On, stop setting your bar so high, mate. What do you reckon is the stage direction that's given before they do the little, like, VT in between the... And they're probably like, oh, you look at me. They are hyping these people up to no yeah. end. What would be yours? Mine and be. My mum always tells me I look like Ronaldo. God, don't look like Ronaldo. Man. <laughs> I'd say Ronaldo. No. Ronaldo don't. Oh. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> yeah, because you're a clown, mate. Uh, hey. uh, that was sick. That's not cringy at all. No, it's not. Got the energy. I've got the smile. What's there not to like? Personality. <laughs> Sorry, that was. <laughs> I didn't even pause for that. That was just a genuine heckle. Maybe it can be one of those people that has the odd funny moment and therefore will go quite far, but to be honest with you, don't really give a shit about him at this point. Oh. I'm Will, I'm 23, I'm a farmer, and I'm from Buckinghamshire. So I have brought a girl back, and we have been a bit cheeky out in the fields and in the hay bales. One thing leads to another, and you know, we're in the back of a tractor, on the back of a trailer, and naughty. <laughs> I don't know if you should be mixing work and pleasure like that, William. Or mixing female genitalia and sheep yeah. shit. Do you know the one thing leads to another is normally like, oh, I can sort of follow how that's going. Yeah. One thing leads to another and you're shagging in the back of a tractor. People aren't going to go, oh, been there. Yeah, no, I see what you mean. They've made a rule this year on Love Island that they're not allowed social media whilst they're in the villa because people were getting like so much hate. Oh, so instead of adding the account now, they're just going to say their name. Yep. <laughs> Good stuff, <laughs> Love Island. Sorted. <laughs> You've done it again. Mish bash bosh. I basically post videos on social media of me with my animals and it's kind of like what I'm doing day to day. But being on social media, you get a lot of attention. Girls are in my DMs asking, ah, oh, can I come to the farm? So Very bouncy talk, yeah. isn't he? Also, he looks completely naked right now. Oh I'm yeah, that was... <laughs> oh, that's the thumbnail. You know, I spoke about yeah. the, I sort of post videos Ooh. about sheep and, and then shit. So we're in my DMs asking, ah, oh, can I come to the farm? So, you know, it's almost put out on a plate for me. Do not speak about women as if they're a lasagna, mate. Have you ever heard someone refer to a vagina as a punched lasagna? Where the f what? Can you imagine a, a lasagna that's just been punched? Yeah. Food for thought, literally. I'm looking to find love and ultimately a wife to help me out in the farm. And ultimately, <laughs> somebody to take a bit of the work off my house. <laughs> <laughs> Go on fucking Indeed. Why are you going into Love Island? <laughs> Don't come on Love Island to get yourself a, like a dick hand for the farm. Oh Go on to find a dick hand. There you are. Hey. So if I'm in the club. Our first I woman. One... I remember mine. Do you? Yeah, the soft embrace when she spooned me. 
I'm Olivia, I'm 27, I'm an actress and ring girl from Brighton. I'm a I could do with a ring girl. What is a ring girl? Um, I, I've had a bit of constipation. No, this is... <laughs> <that's so much. laughs> Please like a, stop. This is a weird joke to make. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> started off with musical theatre and then I went into TV acting. Recently, I played a trophy wife. I had an 80-year-old husband, which is so funny because I'm literally a cougar in real life. Wait, she looks like she's about 21, so... She says she's, she's 27. Oh, then. right, did she? Cougar I was going to say that was worrying me a little bit. <laughs> I'm 18 and I'm a cougar. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> no, you're a paedophile. I'm not calling Olivia a paedophile. No, not at all. Though. She actually seems very lovely. Yeah, honestly, I love you. Please call me queen of situationships. I get caught up in the girlfriend experience. Sounds like a theme park I'd want to go to. Yeah, what does that mean? The girlfriend experience. Is that like when you book an escort and can ask them to like say hello. <laughs> they give you a menu and you're like, candy, blowy, <laughs> or you can get the full girlfriend I experience. Think that is a, I think that is actually a thing. <laughs> yeah, could you give me the, what is it where you act like, the, the full girlfriend experience? Yeah, the full girlfriend can experience. Can I have the cousin experience, please? <laughs> wow, why do the cousin experience? Um, Deep down, I've got a big heart. I just want So, why are they <laughs> all doing this? I don't know. What would be yours then? What would be yours? Um. <laughs> You have to make it sound like you're in like a hospital ward. Ah. <laughs> so I'd go boop, 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 boop. If you want something, just go for it. It works. Although I've never had a boyfriend, so yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but notice every space so far has basically been like, you know what, I, I, I feel like I can get any girl I like, but also I've never been in a relationship. Yeah, every single one. <laughs> can I actually have one? You can have one, yeah. Guys, Max is going to try his first prime. You could say it's prime time. Time for prime. Or you could say something that's not a common sentence. Mm. Yeah, it's drink, isn't it? I'm Shaq, I'm 24, and I'm an airport security officer from London. Oh, he's touched yeah. a lot of girls. Um, I was going to be worried that man was not hot, but he is. He's a slice of fine cake. He really is. <laughs> I don't um, know why I said cake. <laughs> <laughs> that wink didn't look comfortable. No, it didn't. They, they've clearly gone, Shaq, no. do a wink. What we, what we actually can't see is that they actually got a bit of fishing line. <laughs> on his right eyelid and someone behind the scenes was actually tugging it down. I, I don't blame him. Have you seen how hot these guys are? I'd be tugging it down. Oh, I don't. I should be at work working, but <laughs> if the opportunity is there and it comes up, then I'm going to take it. What, in customs? <laughs> that has got to be the the worst place to try and pick someone up yeah. ever. Excuse me there, little miss, Missy. Oh, do you, I, honestly, I've had such, I've woke up at 4 a.m. I had a two hour taxi drive here. Can Nobody's see... in a good mood in customs. No. Can I see your boarding pass and your flaps? Is that how straight people come on to each other? I don't know. Oh, you can, can I see your boarding pass? Well, climb aboard. I like that. I don't think anybody would. I'm searching this old lady's bag. And let's just say I found a few adult toys. <laughs> so I was searching this adult's bag. And let me tell you, I found some adult things. <laughs> and I was searching this child's bag. And let me tell you, toys. Oh my <gasps> God, Shaq, you've got what? some stories. And then this photographer came through and never guessed what I found in his bag. What, Shaq, what? Pictures. <gasps> That's all he's gonna be doing around the villa. Never guess what I saw in a zookeeper's bag. <laughs> Monkey. I don't, I don't. <laughs> that would be a story. That would actually, I'd, I'd want to hear that story. Yeah. But, oh, not, not one of the, hang on. Monkey. <laughs> Number one, she has to be funny. I'm hilarious. <laughs> that right. was fucking funny. <laughs> Guys, look, check this out. Okay. <laughs> oh, do you? How confident am I? I probably say about 11. What the fuck does that mean? What time is it? I'd probably say about 11. I want that to become a meme. Once I get that eye contact, it's game one. It's Shaq time. <laughs> Once I get that eye contact, they're trying to like look past him at their mate. <laughs> and he's just going. <laughs> Do you think that the song Love Shaq is about him? Uh, I doubt it, because I fucking hate Shaq. <laughs> No, that's, oh that, my was, God. that was that was aggressive. That, yeah, that was rude. I I I, I lie. I lie. I am a proper chatterbox. Once you get me going, I don't stop. I'm. Oh an whoa! Enemy. Oh my I'm God! Jesus Why did she Christ. do that? That almost hit me. <laughs> and I'm a payroll administrator from Swansea. When I'm speaking to a boy, say now I see someone I like in town, they can't shut me up, and I find them sometimes looking at me like. Okay, can I get a word in now, sort of thing? That is what I look for in a woman. When I look at them and go, I wish you'd shut up. <laughs> That's goals. And then as soon as they shut up, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Absolute she goals. sees that and goes, 
he likes me. Yeah. <laughs> we once went on a date where I chatted so much that he actually started to fall asleep at the dinner table. Flex. Legend. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I speak so much, people literally fall asleep <laughs> when they're on a date with me. The producers are like, and mate, this, this isn't really helping your situation <laughs> out, love. You're supposed to be selling yourself here. Say, you know, I know where they go out on a Saturday night. I'll be there too. Like, you know, I'll turn up there a bit late as if, oh, it's a surprise to see you here when really they were the only reason I went there. Oh, so, so talks a lot and a stalker. Yeah. <laughs> I have GPS trackers on the majority of the boys in Wales and I know their exact location and I sneak up on them on and out. It sounds like a Netflix documentary should be made about you. Yeah. Like going on Love Island. <laughs> then when they start to like me back or give me any sort of attention, I just get bored and I just bomb them out. What? What's oh. going on, anime? I speak non-stop, I'm a stalker, and if you like like me, I'll hate you. <laughs> what is, what is the point? Sign me up. I'm excited to get into the villa and hopefully meet the love of my life. That would be amazing if I met like the man of my dreams in the villa. You never know. I get the feeling that she went in with like three bullet points and they said, right, we're gonna have to get a minute and 30 out. And she goes, sorry? <laughs> And then she's just been trying to meet the word count for the rest of the time. <laughs> I like a bit of a competition. I'm quite a competitive person, especially when it comes to who I want. Race to this boy I found. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tanya. I'm 22 years old and I'm a biomedical science student from Liverpool. Oh, smart. Yeah, I, mm, I wouldn't get that from the Liverpool. People like to do like, I'll Snapchat, Instagram, I just want to get straight to the number. It's that I love carrier pigeon. All the way. I'm old school like that. I, I use exclusively facts. <laughs> Scarf girls are really, really nice. I'm that girl who'd be in the toilets in the club like, oh my god, I love your makeup, I love your dress, where's it from? Oh my god, let me fix your hair, let me fix your dress. Well, she's the one that sits with a sink with a spray. <laughs> yeah. No spray, no lay. <laughs> oh my god, I love your makeup, five pounds. <laughs> my type is medium handsome guys. Like, guys who are not unreal, but they're not ugly. That's a bit of a kick in the when the person she leaves the villa with sees this and goes, oh, what was she like before she came in? A lot of people that aren't that attractive. When I'm dating, I have like a few people on the go. So I'll have like, let's say four guys at once. Right. I have one more and then you can get a side of chips. Five guys. Um, I got the joke. I just didn't laugh. Oh. This, by the way, is literally making my heart pound. First time somebody's heart's been racing in my room. <laughs> I'm looking to find some chemistry in the villa and maybe some biology later. Is he a teacher? Wait, he's a teacher, he's a teacher. Mm. I called it. I it's... always question teachers coming on. Just because they'll always come on and say like, oh, I really love my job. Well, you know as a teacher, if you come on Love Island, you're no longer going to be able to be a teacher yeah. anywhere. But good for you, Kai. Hope but you pull someone. good pun, <laughs> because could be doing some biology, which means... Oh, chemistry, like, uh, teaching and fucking. Not teaching Not the and kids. Fucking. No. No. Mm. I'm Karen, 24, and I'm a science and PE teacher from Manchester. He's 24. I'm 24. Please tell me that he looks older than I do. Yeah. On, is that bad on me? Maybe. I don't know. I, we're, I think we're at the sort of age now where I don't know what I'm meant to look like. <laughs> when I shout, the kids laugh. So I don't know. That's a shit at your job. Okay. <laughs> When I try and express anger, everyone just laughs at me. When I try and teach, just don't let me. <laughs> That's why he's come on. Yeah, because he's, he's shit and he's just He's to get fired. <laughs> I get a shocked reaction when girls find out I'm a teacher. He's in front of the class. It's, it's, and, he, and he's like, I'm the teacher. They're like, no way! The girls he's on about are the girls in his class. <laughs> the students. I've had mums arrange meetings to meet with Mr. Fagan. I've come down. Next thing I know, they've left their numbers with reception, waiting to see if I'm going to call them back. You're not teaching my child anything. Please <laughs> ring me back. Because he showed up an hour late. To the meeting yeah. and he's like oh they left me my no the number like oh they're so interested that's sick from the first date i'll probably end up falling in love with her <laughs> people probably comment when it comes to that is that is the most kai way of doing the heart <laughs> kai do a heart <laughs> <laughs> People probably come in this is such a funny <laughs> what's a heart they're like imagine that you're putting binoculars on kai do a heart <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of the main purposes of life to find somebody that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. If it's not for that, then what else is there to do? Teach the kids, mate. Though. <laughs> All them kids that can't sit the GCSEs now, Kai. <laughs> Make sure that I'm getting the girl that I want. Put the chase on if she wants to chase. If she likes ITV, I'll put the chase on. <laughs> Fucking love Bradley Walsh, mate. <laughs> Look, if she's a big fan of the beast, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna... she wants to stick the chase on it, is what it is. One thing leads to another. <laughs> Look, if she likes pointless, I'm putting it on. <laughs> I'm Lana, I'm 25 years old. Put her name back. Quiz. 
Anal. Whoa! Put the whole title backwards. Anal team. Oh, yeah. You're on the anal team. I am! You? I am! I've been on the bench for quite some time, um, but I'm hoping to make an appearance later this season. Well, I just fanned it, see? Like, I muddle my words up all the time. Lightens up. Yeah, are we in now? Hi, I'm a couple. Anakabali? Anakabali? Lightens up a room. 2022. 2022. Anakabali? 2120. 20. Anakabali? <laughs> it's not coming out. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just so ditzy. Like I am. And I've got this, um, this tattoo. I didn't realise it was that far up my arm. That's because you're a, a Transformers fan, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. My favourite one's Bumblebee. Hey! And I love it up the ass. Why? Are you, I don't know. I am fluent in Spanish. That's come out of absolutely nowhere. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I judged you, Lana, but yeah, that's I a, did that's, not expect that. That's a lot of intelligence. Because she speaks Spanish, you could call her Lana Del Rey. Oh, <laughs> Lana <laughs> Costa Del Sol. Yeah. Vivía en España para diez años y ahora vivo en Manchester. Oh my God, she speaks fluent Spanish speaking wow. exam in year 10. <laughs> Hello, when I, on the weekend I go play football with my friends. <laughs> Damn, that's some game that I like. <laughs> not the year 10. We're both in the court records. I try my best to play hard to get. Do not message first. Don't do this. Don't do that. But in the end, I end up caving. To be fair, it's a good skill to be able to go caving. You've got to be fucking mental to do it. A lot of breath control. Do you remember when that Taiwanese football team got lost and then cavers had to save them? She was maybe what? part of the team. Are you talking the about team. the Chilean miners? Possibly. Do tie. Not. Oh, it was a tie cave. I was I was partially right. Let's just okay. leave it at that. Let's just call it a tie. Yeah. <laughs> comes to playing hard to get and I'll end up sending a paragraph saying, I love you. Let's just be together. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I saw the recoil on that. I got whiplash. Concussion. <laughs> I've had a tough day, mum. I'm running a bath. <laughs> They're just downstairs watching TV. Like a <laughs> Lana, you don't have to jump into the bath. <laughs> My name's Danielle. I'm 26 years old and I'm a hairstylist from North London. I literally got it all day long. It's just drama, drama, drama. BBL. I think true? she must have had a BBL. That's not human, but that looks very suspicious. That is suspicious. Suspicious. I'm just so ditzy. I can't like. <laughs> I hadn't noticed anything. I was yeah, I'm sure. I was focusing on the hair. I'm sure that you have. She's it. a hairstylist. If she's a hairstylist, of course I'm looking at the pair. Hair. Uh, oh. <laughs> hair. Those hips are wide. Maybe. Go for it. She gave birth to a whole crash. I think it's so important to have sexual chemistry with a guy. What colour was the... I can remember floor. all the colours. What colour was the floor? Pink, I'm guessing. It was actually like a, a pinky orange hue. It's important to have sexual chemistry with a guy. See? Her ass looked good though. <laughs> Someone charismatic, tall, handsome, I love a tan. Muscly, but I don't like it when they're like so muscly that they can't fit through the door. Oh. I was thinking tick, tick, tick. Uh, fallen at the last hurdle. Damn these perfect muscles oh, and these really small doorways. And also they like my personality because I'm so confident and sort of here. And then once I get really comfortable, I'm really cheesy. <laughs> Just a wash every day. Little what? Maybe a little flannel wash. Like they love my body. They love my personality. And once I get really comfortable, I smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> and once I've been festering for too long, <laughs> I get really cheesy. <laughs> wash my body in weeks. <laughs> once I take my Sucks so. off. <laughs> really clear room. Did someone open a cabin bear? <laughs> I'm Ron, I'm 25, I'm financial advisor from Essex. Typical Essex boy, but I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> what? <laughs> I literally am like everybody else, apart from the fact I'm not at all like anybody else. But I put on a little hard shell, but then when I'm chatting to a girl or when I get to know him, that soft side comes out so quick. Wait, maybe don't put this in. Is he blind in one eye? I don't know. I don't have his eyes. I don't like, know. look. No, I've, I, I've noticed the eye. Oh. But I don't know if it means he's blind. Well, when you find out, let me know. Okay. My best physical feature has got to be my eyes. Because they're, they're two different colours. Girls love it. It's always a story. So they're not broken. He's got two different coloured eyes. And that's maybe why I thought it was, like, dead. That's a nice compliment. He goes, yeah, funny story about the eyes. But yeah, they're just different colours. Oh, I thought it was dead. Oh, at least it's alive. <laughs> I'm blind in one eye. See, I I've was always right. used it, I've always used it to my advantage. Girls always come up to me and say, I love your eyes. Like, no disrespect. How can you use one eye to your advantage? Become a pirate? <laughs> I'm a fun guy to be around. He's a fun guy. Well, there's not mushroom. mushroom more. There's not mushroom left for, for them in the villa anymore because we've already had loads of people already come in. 
I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but... I can suck my own cock. <laughs> <laughs> I am a diamond in the rough. Banner of a song as well. Do you know Diamond in the Rough? I think I've heard it, yeah. Perhaps. Diamond in the rough. Oh, you, you haven't heard it? Such a good song. Diamond in the rough. Why do I recognise that voice? Right, can I just say off the bat, I'm getting cheek injections from this man. He's your doctor? <laughs> <laughs> I've got an appointment with him next week! I can't go all the way to South Africa! Can I just say off the bat? This guy's doing a surgery for me next week! I'm paying the deposit! I'm 23 and I'm a footballer from Barnsley. And I'm definitely going to be playing the field in the villa. <laughs> I definitely scoring off the pitch. Yeah, no brainer. Oh. I didn't like that at all. Cockiness, that's what I don't like. Yeah. I know you're a big fan of the cocky. I am indeed, um, yeah, but um, not in this case. I can't even imagine saying that out loud. No, I wouldn't be able to say that with a straight face. No, I'd say it with a gay face. You can't say anything with a straight face. No, I can't. I score off the pitch though. <laughs> I am so boy obsessed. You guys would get on like a house on fire. We would. Did she say she's very buoyant? I'm Ellie, I'm 25, and I'm a business development executive from Norwich. I think they I... have really blown the budget on that. <laughs> Chicken feathers. It's the exact same every time, just feathers <laughs> and then you're going to hop into a bath of bulls. I try and put my professional face on as much as I can, but to be honest, I'm just as wild like at work as I am outside of work, so they already know I'm getting feral. Getting feral? Fucking let's get on it then, Ellie. Getting feral? Let's get absolutely I mean, feral. There's, there's, there's going like hard and then there's getting feral. I, I would imagine that Will Ferrell is quite busy. I don't know how she goes out with him yeah, Monday to night. Friday. Do you, do you want to come out? No, I'm, well, I'm getting feral. Oh, yeah. if, if Will's there. I have no filter, like I'm such an oversharer. Like I will literally meet you for the first time and you'll know my blood type. Oh my God, not your blood type. That is oversharing. <laughs> you crazy bitch. It doesn't take me much to be honest, like, especially after a tequila, I could fall in love with the chair. Hey, what? You could fall in love with the chair. <laughs> oh, look at the legs on that. Yeah. I imagine quite a few splinters would be involved. Ellie, have you ever thought about your own physical safety? Sit, don't date is my rule with chairs. Absolutely. I've always said that. I'll never forget that time I sat on a chair and it just disappeared. Swallowed up inside of me. I'm more of a personality person. I think as soon as you start hitting men that are like 10s or 12s. She's hitting people. Only the good looking ones though. Oh, okay. Like you're on a date and you're like, I'm carrying this whole date on my back. I'm about to fall asleep. But how do you think the camel feels? <laughs> hey, they want, they want a date in yeah. my brain. Oh. To Dubai, right. and they went camel riding. Oh, okay. So the camels would have been carrying the date on their back, on their back. Quite, quite literally. Yes. Whereas she was saying, metaphorically, she carries the date on If I was the first bombshell going in, I think the girls would definitely feel threatened. She comes um, in in a balaclava. <laughs> I definitely think they'd feel threatened. <laughs> yes, they would. <laughs> but yeah, that's this year's Love Island gang. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, give us a like, a little subscribe. If you like Max, give him a subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Maybe. Yay. Maybe I'll do. see you again. Probably not. Um, I never want to speak to you again after this. Okay. Sound. Bye. <laughs>